Run the code online or download from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Here's a tutorial on how to stop input in Python. How to stop input in Python. Sometimes, you may want to stop accepting user input in your Python program after a certain condition is met. This can be useful, for example, when you want to halt user input after a specific keyword is entered or when a certain number of inputs have been received. In this tutorial, we'll explore various methods to achieve this. Method 1, using a sentinel value. A sentinel value is a special value that indicates the end of input. You can define a sentinel value and check if the user input matches this value to stop input. In this example, the program prompts the user to enter a value. If the entered value matches the sentinel value, stop in this case, the loop terminates. Method 2, using a counter. Another approach is to limit the number of inputs by using a counter variable. Once the counter reaches a certain limit, input stops. In this example, the loop iterates a fixed number of times, max underscore inputs, and collects user input on each iteration. After collecting the specified number of inputs, the loop ends. Method 3, using a conditional statement. You can also use a conditional statement to stop input based on a specific condition. In this example, input stops either when the user enters end or when the number of inputs reaches a maximum limit, in this case, 5. Conclusion Stopping input in Python can be achieved using various methods such as sentinel values, counters, or conditional statements. Choose the method that best fits your requirements based on the specific conditions under which you want to stop accepting input. Feel free to modify these examples according to your specific use case or requirements. ChatGPT